Like that's a big rattle, and he's fat too, guys. Like, Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna go do something really fun that I like to do at this time of year. It's almost winter, basically is. It's getting pretty cold out. And we're gonna go 10 flipping. I'm gonna go pick up Cameron because he wants to go again. And uh, only thing I got to do first is turn on the animal's lights. So I'm gonna get on that. Of course, we got same tanks, just new setups. Got the turtles here. We got the blue tongue skink Kai turn on his light. So a new arrival I got in yesterday. He's a rescue, just like a lot of the other guys in here. Turn his lights on real quick so you can see him. Oh, he's actually hiding up there, but it's a little baby green iguana. And he just got here. Or I just got him yesterday. I picked him up from somebody who just didn't want him anymore. Which is like I, like I say a lot, the case with most of these animals. People just get tired of them or they don't have the means to take care of them, so they do the right thing and give them over to someone who actually can instead of releasing them. The African beaked snake, and he's hiding out right now. He's probably going to come out when it warms a little bit. So Once I get this guy to start eating regularly and I can get him out without worrying about stressing him out as much, I want to show him a lot more on the channel because he's super cool. Amazon tree boa. It's hissing cockroach right there, but there he is looking majestic. So everybody's lights are turned on except for the axolotls. They don't really need a light, but we'll go ahead and turn it on. There we go. They're looking good too. Get to Dragon CJ. Everybody looks good. Everybody looks happy. Oh, almost forgot Dragon. Everybody looks happy. We'll get on the road and pick Cameron up and get the tin flipping because I want to find some king snakes today. I didn't get any of it on video because we were flipping tin and we flipped a huge stack and this giant timber was under it and uh, the landowners came apparently we're on private property and he said for us to get off but then we showed him the snake and he was really interested so it's kind of unclear whether or not he really wanted us to get off or not but either way we're gonna let this guy go I told him that we would remove it but I don't, I'm not gonna remove it because he didn't even know it was here to begin with so we're just gonna let it go and hope it hides from him I might let it go in a different spot. Though. Oh my god, he's, he's posing. He's like, yeah. he's a natural. Beautiful. Or at least video it. 
Okay, let me, oh yeah. How long is it? Like four or five, like four He's foot. big, dude. Okay. Yeah, this, guys, this is a healthy adult timber rattlesnake. This is what you want to see when you go out looking for timbers. He's been eating well, you know, those big rats, and he is just massive. And look, he's not even striking or anything. He's been super good. He's, he hasn't even really shown any aggression other than when we found him and Cameron dropped that tin on top of him, and then he was a little... Little. The tin, it was a, it was a huge stack of old signs. It was, and it happened. He's fine. We picked it up immediately and got him out. Yeah, he's fine. Like most other snakes, they have musk that they use to deter predators, but rattlesnakes are different because they actually spray it like a skunk. And he sprayed that mess right in my face when we, we first found him and had to capture him. So, uh, he's just, it's crazy the size of him. And like his face is so fierce too. Yeah, that's a cool looking snake, like a dragon. Oh, sorry, you okay? Oh, he's, he's chill now, look at that. Just start rattling, he's just... Oh, he's not even annoyed anymore. Let him chill there, and maybe he'll just hang out while we flip this, and we can have two snakes. Alright. Hey guys, well... He's such a good boy, he's just chilling. Yeah. We, we um, went to flip all of this, we told him to stay, he stayed. Okay. I'll let him go in there so he can hunt his rat and be at peace. Hopefully never see another person again. Whoa. Right you guys. We're at a different spot. I think I've actually walked this well no it might not have been this one, I'm not sure. Before and found a, a nice banded water snake. But, yeah, we got some good tin up in here. Alrighty, let's get to flipping some of this stuff. Oh, snake scales, look. Yeah, see? Something was under here. Yeah, it was it was the shed. See if you can get this up. Yeah. Good king snake habitat. It's probably king snakes. Rodent nest. Dude. Right. This looks good here. So. Is that a cow ant? Nah. Okay, there's a Grab. Be ready to grab. Nothing. scared. Well, this would be pretty cool to show. That is a juvenile gopher tortoise burrow, or a, a hatchling gopher tortoise burrow, rather, right underneath that log. That is pretty stinking cool. All right, you guys, we're here at Colton's house because we've been out herping for fear to be too cold to see a snake. But Colton almost stepped on a black racer while we were walking through his yard, which is, I guess, how it usually goes. Spend all day looking, and then come to your your yard, and you find a snake just sitting there. This black racer is so cold it can barely move. I can flip it over, and it will just lay there. 
Or was he starting to heat up now? <laughs> That's why I got you. Ooh. Are you ready, guys? All right, Cameron's first snake bite. This is a snake bite. Come on, man. This the moment you've been training for. Uh, I can't do it. Don't, I don't know scare why. it, or it's not gonna bite you. <laughs> it's moving slightly. He's definitely warming up. How cold is it right now? Like, what's the temp? Like fifties. Mm, probably. Probably around fifties. It's pretty cold. It's not very racer like. He's so fast. It's a black crawler. How <laughs> yeah, you leave him like that? Just bask until he's got he's charged up enough to go. Just literally just put your hand in front of it like don't do don't do your fingers like do the back of your hand so it won't like get stuck yeah you gotta get close to it right i'm gonna dodge jay my reflexes are cat like all right guys i just made it in after a long day of herping with cameron we didn't see a lot today but this wasn't all filmed in one day of course because it's been kind of slow lately november is a very slow month for herping in georgia typically but uh, it is when the salamanders are going to start coming out, so hopefully we'll be seeing more of them in the upcoming videos. Uh, if you guys are enjoying these, please leave a like, comment if you want to, or dislike if you don't like it. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. Uh, follow me on my journey to continue to better my content so that I can share this stuff with you guys, and hopefully it'll get out there and more people will watch. Uh, with all that being said, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. I'm going to be getting out and looking for more of the stuff I see during the winter, which is honestly one of my favorite times to herp. So if you would like to see how I find snakes in the colder months of the year, then stay tuned because there's a lot more cool stuff coming your way. Peace out, guys.